Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you uh, about five options on how to use the select and field action in ClickView. So I'm just going to get started uh, quickly. Here I've got a, a table, and on the top I have uh, the five select and fields uh, actually set up so I can click these uh, buttons. And I'll, uh, obviously, the table is doing what I want to do based on the select and field actions. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to recreate these uh, this is to select one field select two this is to select three this is to select um excluded fields so you would say select id one and three um and then set it to show the excluded which will give you the values so we'll get started um so here we have a text object um, called select and field option one we're going to add an action it's select and field field ID is ID and just say equals one. So we click OK, we can now click on this button and it will show us show us um where the ID field is equal to one. So if we clear we can choose another option we can say select and field where the field is equal to ID um, and it's equal to one. And then we can add toggle select field equals id um, and search string equals two so what it does is you're selecting one and then you're toggle selecting two so if we choose this we'll get id equals one and two so now we have one and two so if we went to third option say add selecting field id and then search string we're going to choose three different ids and to do that you're going to use um double quotes and then you're going to put a, a on my computer I use shift and backspace it gives a kind of a, like a, an L I'm not sure what it's called press double quote double quotes again and we put in L2 shift backspace double quotes double quotes I would say three I'm going to wrap that in parentheses So if we click OK and choose this, we now get ID 1, 2, and 3. So if we clear the selection, you can see now they're all doing something different. Selecting field option 4, we can say selecting field, and we can actually use, uh, we can use that from uh, the third option, just copy that. paste it in and then we can add uh, select excluded and the field is equal to ID so in this instance we're selecting uh, 1, 2 and 3 and then we're selecting excluded so it's going to actually give us 4, 4, 6 and 7 or 4, 6 and 7 let's be clear that and we don't have a 5 so it's 4, 6 and 7 so that's kind of selecting field uh, to get the excluded values and then to kind of do the same thing but without instead of having two actions we're going to have one action just one selecting field um, ID I'm going to type in the following we're going to say um, equals concat and a bit of set analysis ID minus equals so we're going to say we want everything other than um, 1 comma 2 so it should because we put that minus in there we should get we should get every other value other than 1 2 so it'll be 3 4 6 and 7 so we say distinct id comma And we're going to use the shift backspace again and then what we have to do is we have to wrap that in parentheses so we say single quote open parentheses single quote and and then do the same to close it off single quote close parentheses single quote 
and before that just put an and in there so if we click OK this selecting field concat should actually give us uh, 3, 4, 6 and 7 because we said to give us the selecting field ID but ID without 1 and 2 so that's five different options on using the selecting field action in ClickView. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.